How many times have you found yourself using the phrase, I'm only human? And to be honest, you're right. You are only human. All of us, we're just human beings. There's nothing more. We're born just the same. Flesh, blood, you cut us, we bleed, we get tired, we get fatigued. You know, as we get older, there's miles and miles on our body and on our mind. And sometimes we just need a break. Sometimes we just need a day off. And just to be quite honest, today was one of those days for me. You know, I found myself like, you know what? I'm exhausted mentally. I just need rest. I need a day off. And right about the time when I got comfortable with the idea of not getting in front of this camera, I thought of Gary V. And I'm like, damn it. Like, you know, because that competitive side of me is just not going to let me rest knowing that somewhere in this world, he's making a video, probably uploading it right now. You know, because when you really think about it, right? This guy's uploading videos seven days a week. He has a wife, he has a kid, he's got a personal life, he's got a business to run. He's got all of those things going on, but in his day somewhere, he finds time to make and upload content. And I was pissed. And I'm like, yo, Sean, if he can do it, you can do it. So here I find myself in front of this camera, needless to say. But then there's a part two to this, you know, I always want to come before the camera with something of quality. I want substance. I don't want to just come with messages that are regurgitated, rehashed, and just sound like, oh, Sean's just doing it just to say he's got it done. No. So I start to do what I always do. Really look within myself and say, you know what? If I'm going through something, there's a bunch of people out there who's going through the same thing. Hence, I'm only human. And <laughs> I would tell you guys, because I know so many of you guys are dealing with the same thing in your personal lives. You're tired, you're wore out, you're working two jobs, you got kids, you got a family, you probably haven't had days off and God knows when. So it's easy to say, you know what? I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to use and, and I'm going to take some time off just for me. But I really want you to look at this two ways, right? Because when you say that, that phrase, I'm only human, that phrase becomes a crutch. That phrase, that phrase becomes your excuse for breaking a commitment that you have to yourself. That phrase becomes that crutch and that excuse for you not fulfilling that, that commitment or not completing the goal that you set for yourself. So that's one way to look at it. But there's another way. Really look at the people who are doing their thing. Really look at the people who are achieving and, and, and are leaders of, of, of industries and people who are doing exactly what you want to do and they're doing it at a high level. Are they using the excuse, I'm only human? There's only one thing that's separating you from them. And it's the level of commitment. It is you staying focused and you not letting yourself off the hook and just giving yourself a way out by saying, I'm only human. I'm going to take the day off because they're not doing that. And they are just as human as you. I sit and I think of people, right? And these are examples of people who have done some amazing things in this life, but they didn't start off you know, in the best of circumstances. We've all heard of the Harry Potter's book series or the Harry Potter movies. The author, J.K. Rollins, you know, when she wrote the first book, this was a woman who was recently divorced, single mother on welfare. She had every reason to be like, I'm only human. The last thing that I want to do is start writing a book about a boy wizard. But she didn't let that become her excuse. So she goes and she writes this book. And once the book is written, she's got the manuscript, she's got another problem. Who's going to publish it? How am I going to get it out to the world? So she's now got to shop it, get no, 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 no. And finally, somebody picks it up. The rest is history. What's your excuse? We've all heard of Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela, like, let's really look at this guy's life. Lawyer gets locked up in a South African prison. Now, I got to believe, you know, I've never been in a South African prison, but I don't think that's spending a weekend in the county jail. Like their prisons is a whole different, you know, that 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 labor and, and, and 
Everything you see on TV that is not good about prison, I got to believe that's what that man endured. And he endured it over 27 years. But when he got out, when he got out of jail, his destiny awaited him. He didn't just rely on the fact that he didn't just become, you know, well, I, I, I was locked up for 27 years. I don't know how to get back on my feet. There was no excuses there. He became the president of South Africa and was on the front line, the front line of ending apartheid in that country. What's your excuse? So the next time you're sitting there and you're giving yourself a pass for breaking a commitment, for breaking a goal you set for yourself, and you're, you're really coming to peace with the idea of, you know what, I'll get around to it tomorrow because I'm only human. I want you to think, all of the people who are out there doing their thing, so are they. That's one for you to think about. Peace and love make every move a power move, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.